So I got the camera because you're going to juggle this thing, right? Yeah, dude. I'm uh, basically a bee tamer. Okay, so will you just climb up there and get it? Yeah, I, I mean, I whisper to bees, basically. That thing's sick. Right? I thought you'd like that. It kind of looks like a football. Good. Let's shake it. Okay, guys, so we have a beehive in the back of our yard, but that's not what the video is about today. Today, we're going to take the leftover lead that we had from that last one, and we are going to pour it inside of a shell of like a like a big conch or a big old like snail shell and see if we can get it to form to the snail shell and get it out. This is the piece that was on the side. This is the side that like kind of drained out on the side and didn't really form to the anthill. It kind of looks like an axe, so I have an idea real quick. Ready, set. <laughs> it's getting all bent up. I need it broken up to stick it in the pot, so it's all right if I bang it up. One more try. Let's stick into the tree this time. Oi! <laughs> I still gotta break this because it's not gonna fit in that pot. All right, so we ran out of propane, so I'm gonna have to use a torch. Hopefully this will work, I don't even know. And then we're gonna pour it into this, one second. We're gonna be pouring it into this shell right here and try to get pretty much this shell in metal. So let's light it up. All right, now we're gonna try to pour it into the shell and see if we can get a cool design out of it. This pot is so heavy. Back up. All right. We got it in there. Now we just got to wait for it to uh, cool off because, as you can see, it is steaming hot. That shell just took all that lead. There was a lot of lead in that. There was like, I don't know, like five pounds of lead or six pounds of lead. And that shell took all the lead and some. Like, I could probably still fill more in there. We're going to wait for that thing to cool down and beat it open real softly so it doesn't hurt the lead and then see if we can get like all the chambers out without hurting um, the lead. So, just a waiting game now because it's just steaming. You can hear it crackling and melting and it's so heavy like I, I can't. Ugh! It takes all my might to lift that thing up. But I got it all the way down in all the chambers. There's all the impurities right there. That's what I was trying to scoop off the top. That's all the impurities like the grass and the dirt from when we fired it the first time plus all the other metals that might have been mixed in that. Let's see if the pot sizzles. <laughs> we're gonna bring it over to the hose and we're gonna spray it off so it'll cool it down. This thing will probably be sizzling too. If the pot's sizzling, then this crap's definitely gonna sizzle. It's so hard to hold this thing, it's so heavy. Oh yeah, it's hot. Oh, look at it bubbling. Hey, back up guys. I don't know if it might try to explode or something. It's bubbling the water. Hear it? Yes. Alright guys, we got it right here. It's so heavy. Like, catch it. Hold it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hurt the lead because the lead's soft. So I kind of want to break it real nice and easy. Hey, you know what? It's kind of nice. It smells like campfire. It smells good, dude. Two thousand years later. The so, nipple part, bro, it's so heavy. You can kind of see down in there now. That's like a hole where the spiral is. I'm gonna take this thing. And wash it off a little bit because it's really really dirty and you can't really see it but it is like a spiral it looks pretty cool it's not as cool as i thought it would be but it is still pretty cool you can see like it's like the shell it looks like what the muscle would look like that lives in it you know but i'm trying to chisel out these white parts so that you get like the pure lead but it's not coming out so i'm just going to take this and i'm going to work it with a uh, screwdriver for a while and get back to you guys 
All right, guys, it's the next day. I've been chiseling on this thing all night. My hand is like raw. You can see my hands like all red and just destroyed. I've been trying to get all the shell out of it. And you can see on this side, I kind of got all the shell out. And you can see through like right here. You can like see down in there. But the top, like it just won't come out. And the more I chisel at it, the more it hurts the um, the metal. I'm going to keep trying, guys. But honestly, it's it's insanely hard. I think what I need is like a little hammer and a little chisel. But it came out pretty cool. Look at this, guys. It looks like a little tiny. It looks like what the snail would look like if it was inside the shell. It actually is pretty cool. I think I could take some like sandpaper and rough it up and make it really shiny. It'd make like a cool like paperweight or I don't know, some kind of decoration in the house. But it's just fun pouring the liquid down stuff and to see what it will turn into. You can see like that's where there was like dirt in the shell. So it got like a whole bunch of dirt on it. You can kind of see it. There's like some ridges right there. The shell has like little ridges right there, I guess, so the snail can move through easily or something. I have no idea what they're for. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I think I'm going to videotape just my crazy family Thanksgiving. Um, I have like 11 brothers and sisters, so our Thanksgiving is wild. And I think I just might like just videotape it so you guys can see like the craziness that we deal with on Thanksgiving. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button to show me that you liked it. And as always, guys, peace out and stay scumpy. Woo!